Now that we have placed the drawings into the layouts, it's time to go back and continue documenting it. And one of the advantages to have the drawings first before we start dimensioning is that we can right click on this drawing here and say open source view with layout as reference. So ArcCAD is going to open that roof level and now the reference here on the trace and reference is my layout. So when putting dimensions, we know how far we can go without getting out of the drawing. So for now, I'm going to hide here the reference. Let's go to the ground floor and let's check out how we do dimensions. So dimensions in ArcCAD are very quick and very intuitive. All we have to do is click on the dimension tool, click on the points that you want. So I'm going to click on this, 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 and that. And then you double click anywhere on the screen. So I'm going to double click here. Now ArcCAD is asking me what orientation do you want for your dimension line. So I'm going to make sure it's parallel to that one and click here. Now I can select this dimension and use the drag. So I'm going to use the command D or the control D to reposition it. There's another way to do it, which is the one that I actually prefer, which is select the dimension line, click on the first and the last point, and then double click here. So we create this overall dimension. Now with the arrow tool, I'm going to select this dimension and then holding command in the Mac or control in the windows, you can go back and start adding new points to this dimension line. So now we're breaking that dimension line in the points that I want. The reason why I prefer this method is because when you are adding the points for the other dimensioning, like I'm adding the points here and then I get one point wrong and sometimes I hit escape and I lose all the points. So I prefer to do the first and the last one because I think it's faster. So now let's take a look on these dimensions, how it works. So I'm going to select one dimension here and then go to the dimension settings or you can use the control T. And this should be very straightforward. You can change the type of dimension you're doing. We can change the marker type. Some practice prefer to use the dots instead of the dash or the arrows. You can change the pens that we are using for those, but it's good to keep it the way it is. You can change the font, the position of the text, and you can also change here if you're using, for instance, this method with the witness line, we can change how far are we from the original point. I think it's not far enough, so we're going to make it slightly bigger so that we don't have this problem here. If you choose the method where you have a constant witness line, you can do this distance here. So I can make it, for instance, 300. So every point, every node has the same witness line length. But I'm going to keep it the way it was before. And we can also change the pointer. I'm going to show you what this is in the floor plan. But right now I'm going to change from this heavy to a lighter arrowhead and then press OK. So this pointer is when sometimes you have a crowded dimension and when you start moving this text around, ArchiCAD will automatically add an arrow here. So I was changing for that dimension. So I'm going to go back here and change this pointer again. So I'm going to show you how I actually do the dimensions. And so you can see how fast it is to do in ArchiCAD. So I'm going to select the first and the last point, double click anywhere here on the screen and add my overall dimension. Now I'm going to use the arrow tool, the drag and copy. So I'm going to copy this dimension line 250 below. Now I'm going to select this dimension line and add some new nodes for it. So I have the internal room dimension. Now I'm going to copy this one 250 below as well. Select this guy and break it even further, a little bit more detail. We don't really need to break this much when we're doing a schematic design, but I think it's worth it for us to see how it looks. And that's how you very quickly can do the three levels of dimensioning for this side of the house. Sometimes you want to dimension something that is quite far. For instance, I want to dimension this guy here, but I don't want to have this huge witness line. So you can select only this node here and go into the control T and change it to a custom length witness line. So what else can we do with those nodes? So I'm going to go back here to the bottom. I'm going to select this node 
And if I click on it again, you have some options here on the pet palette. One of them being you can change what I am dimensioning. So instead of dimensioning this guy here, I want to dimension the staircase there, or I can go back to that point. You can also change the size of the witness line. So for instance, right now it's here. I can do it here if I prefer. And you can break this dimension into two. So if I click here, a cat's gonna ask which one you wanna select at the end. I'm gonna undo that. And you can also break it, but keep the selection so you can position a different place. Let's undo that. You can also at any time click on this dimension and hit the delete key. So ArchiCAD will automatically join the dimensions that you had before.